Hello and welcome back. You're tuned into the first episode of the fall season of SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your host, Brian DiNovellis. First thing you might notice is we're still in our production vault. Never fear, just keeping things safe, waiting on the all clear. What you'll notice on the programming side is we're amping up the kinds of features you'll see here. Viewers have let us know they support small business startups and an investment in crowdfunding is a good thing. But they also mentioned if they're restarting a business investment from scratch, they want to see more of what's available in franchising as well. So we're glad to oblige. Stick around and see right after this brief announcement. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. We're back with you on SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis. Let's start off today with a look at a franchise on offer that's liable to have captured your interests or at least crossed your mind earlier this year during prevailing situations on the home front. Some of us may have gained five or 10. Okay, let's just go with several pounds while we've been staying close to home, telecommuting for work and for school. We've all been on hold waiting for the green light before returning to so many of our previous activities. Now, whether or not you intend to reactivate your membership at a local health and fitness club, the franchisers behind Planet Fitness want you to know they've made adjustments for the new normal in their members' workout regimen. From access to the latest equipment, to the cleaning routine, to social distancing and beyond. And if you've been waiting for a green light in your franchise ownership experience, they say that light is flashing. Let's take a moment to watch the franchisor's video presentation while you consider an investment in Planet Fitness for yourself. So the culture here at Planet Fitness, I think, is by far the secret sauce. It's this obsession and this devotion to create a business model that is getting people healthier. We come in and everyone brings their best game to the table every day, but we enjoy working together. It's a culture where people respect each other's expertise. I feel like I get to talk to anybody within the organization and learn from them whether it's the franchisees, our people in the field, or within the own department. Everyone is really motivating. Everyone is a team member. It is rare that anyone would ever say, I can't help you or I won't. It's just a fantastic team to work with. It is very entrepreneurial. You basically take the project that you have and you run with it and make it your own. It's sort of a small, big company. We're small enough that the work you do, you feel like it really makes a difference. It contributes to the overall big picture. And we all take pride in that. You know, more recently, what's been really wonderful about this company is, you know, our culture inside our office, our culture with our, our gyms and that judgment-free zone and accepted and respected within our four walls. More recently, we partnered with Boys and Girls Club of America to stomp out bullying. And I think it's been really great to take what we have internally and bring it externally now. So in the past, we were able to volunteer at the Boys and Girls Club. We built a, a small Planet Fitness gym. You know, those types of things make it uh, real easy to get up and come to work in the morning. I am very proud to be a part of a fantastic franchise across the U.S. and now internationally. You know, we're selling wellness and, uh, and it's that devotion that these employees have. It's addictive and everybody feeds off of it. And it's, uh, it seems like every day it gets stronger because it's more evident in the success of the business. They say it's more than a franchise to owner operators around the US. From where I'm sitting, it looks like an opportunity to consider as Planet Fitness makes evident your commitment to your client's health and reflects on the national organization's commitment to franchise owners. If you're watching us on ConnectSBN.com, scroll down to episode 40 and click the link there for Planet Fitness to learn more about becoming your own boss as a franchisee of this solid health and fitness small business. 
Coming up after a short break, one crowdfunding campaign seeks to build out a time-tested method of making your medical history accessible no matter where you go to see a doctor, while another innovator seeks your investment for an effort that puts the shoe on the other paw. You'll see those and much more when we come back in a moment. Please stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. You don't realize when you're mentoring and talking to people that you're more than just that mentor. You're, you're that person's support base. And sometimes you're the only person that they have that they can talk about these things with. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. Hello and welcome back. I'm Brian DiNovellis, and we're glad you've rejoined us here on SBN, the Small Business Network. So imagine you had a rare disease, much easier to imagine in our current setting. But imagine too, every time you went for another doctor's appointment, there was a mad scramble to get all the records for the physician's review to perhaps streamline the path to wellness. So what began as a weighty volume in a three ring binder has now become Wingspan, the app that allows access to you and your health in an instant. Let's give this crowdfunding campaign some consideration while we watch and listen to the presentation video from the remarkable innovator behind Wingspan. Hi, my name is Suzanne and I'm the founder of Wingspan Health. We're a free patient-facing app that pulls all of your medical records into one place, sort of like Mint for medical records. We use your health history to show you insights, trends, and suggestions. It's all in Wingspan, no matter which doctor you see. This problem is personal to me. I got sick at 18 with a rare disease that nobody understood or knew how to help. So I went from specialist to specialist carrying a big binder of all of my medical information. It wasn't until three years in that I got really frustrated, turned that binder into spreadsheets, and presented those spreadsheets to a doctor. Within weeks, I was diagnosed, treated, and feeling much better. That's why I built Wingspan. I want everyone to be able to feel in control of their health. To build this tool, we had to solve two really hard problems. The first is getting the data. It's taken Apple about six years to integrate with 300 health systems. We were able to integrate with the same number in less than six months with zero dollars of funding. The second hard problem is making sense of that data. We take this really seriously. It's not enough to dump a bunch of raw data into an app. You have to translate it into useful information. This is hard because healthcare data is notoriously messy. And while that's kept our competitors from tackling this problem, we already have an AI driven pipeline that maps diagnoses, lab results, and everything else. In addition to being a rare disease patient, I spent my career working in health tech at some of the biggest players like Epic and Athena Health. Wingspan is going to give people as much control over their health outcomes as tools like Mint and Wealthfront give them over their finances. We'd love to have your help building Wingspan. The minimum investment in Wingspan is $100. If you'd like to know more about Wingspan and you're watching today at ConnectSBN.com, you can scroll down to the links for episode 40 and learn how your investment matters. Speaking of investment matters, neither simultaneously nor adjacently, another inventive spirit has turned a lifelong love of dogs and caring for other animals into a project called Politics. Now my boss warned me, this is not a story about politics, it's Politics, a process of keeping track of all your pet's personal health records. Politics is an app that takes the guesswork out of the care we all intend to provide but are sometimes too rushed or distracted to take note. Now, rather than me trying to explain this crowdfunding campaign, let's have a look at the video presentation for Politics. I love pets. They're great companions and like us, they spend most of their lives building bonds and partnerships. Loving pets is easy, but taking care of them is hard. I started Politics two years ago in order to help animal shelters manage all aspects of their day-to-day -day operations, enabling them to save more pets. Through hundreds of customer interviews, we've discovered a massive unfilled need in the $200 billion pet care industry. 
Currently, pet owners and professionals are wasting 276 million hours annually, scrambling to piece together every pet's history and medical records. At Pawlytics, we're creating a unified database for pet electronic health records to maximize the quality and ease of care for the 184 million dogs and cats across the US that will come into contact with vets, boarding kennels, trainers, groomers, and for many of them, an animal shelter. We can streamline pet care across services by using one unique identifier, the microchip number. Shelters and rescues microchip 100% of the animals that they adopt out. And at Pawlytics, we've already captured the health data for over 15,000 microchip pets from over 300 rescues. With your help, we'll build enterprise-level software to serve some of the largest animal shelters in the nation, capturing health data for millions of pets annually. But that's only the beginning. By making a few changes to the interface, we can use our unified database to create specialized software for each and every provider, revolutionizing pet care. Vets and pet pharmaceuticals will better track their treatment outcomes. Insurance companies will better assess their risk. Retailers will have transparency into their market like they never have before. And animal shelters will save more lives. After spending the last two decades working endlessly to save animals, I plan to spend the rest of my life making this world a better place for pets and the people that love them so that no animals have to needlessly die alone in a shelter ever again. If you're considering an investment in Pawlytics, you can buy in at the minimum level $100. If you'd like to learn more before you invest, there's plenty more to see. If you're watching us on ConnectSBN.com, simply scroll down to the link section for episode 40 and click on Pawlytics. In just a minute, we'll be back with much more from the world of small business startups, including a collection of active workout wear that will have you nearly fly like the wind and a machine with a goal to keep you cool, calm, and collecting your power from the wind. We're back in a moment with more on SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. Ready to start or grow your small business? Visit sba.gov to learn more about how we can help. This is SBN, the Small Business Network, and I'm your tour guide today, Brian DiNovellis. This has been an unusual year to say the least, especially in terms of small business startups. A common refrain among rising entrepreneurs is, how on earth can I create positive outcomes when the chessboard's been completely upended? Well, we're going to tell you. Yes, there are plenty of ways to outlast and conquer the small business blues. This time it's with the familiarity of a franchise that's been around since 1967. And that's a lot longer than most in this same line. We're talking about ServiceMaster and the family of services it represents. The franchisers at ServiceMaster realize when it comes to cleaning, maintaining, and restoring, there's no such thing as one size fits all. It's what they learned from customers and from those who took on the pride of ownership, purchasing their own company of services from ServiceMaster. Now, we would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge in recent times the efforts of so many first responders handling the burdens, providing cleaning and disinfecting services to so many hospitals, clinics, elder care facilities, schools, and more. ServiceMaster knew that extraordinary circumstances called for exceptional attention to detail, and the company still performs and maintains at an impressive level to uphold the image they spent so many years perfecting. When you put service in your name, you have to be serious about it. ServiceMaster Restore is one of the largest disaster restoration companies in America. We're looking for franchisees who truly want to serve and help people. First question I ask of all franchisees as well as employees is what does your life look like 10 years from now? But more importantly, what their business is worth. And start thinking about a plan to achieve that goal. Well, before ServiceMaster, we had an independent restoration company. And we knew that if we wanted to hit our goals and get to the next level, we felt that ServiceMaster was the best way for us to go. Being in business for yourself means that you're, you're independent, you get to make the decisions, but at the same time, you have someone that you can go to for guidance and for help. 
Um, so Service Master is there for you. They're, they're a good backbone. The marketing team at Service Master is one of our greatest strengths. They help you develop a marketing plan as you start into business. You had all the information at your fingertips. You, know, you had your pictures, you had marketing materials. It is part of what provides you the comfort to, to move forward and know that your marketing dollars are making a good investment. When Restore 365 came out and we rolled it out, it's completely changed uh, the dynamic of our business and being able to be more mobile. Our technicians get to use their mobile devices and they're able to upload notes, pictures, any information that requires them to you know, move forward with the job. In recent years, I've developed a vision that I believe millennials are going to be the greatest group of franchisees in American history. They all want to change the world for the better, and franchising provides them an opportunity to change one life at a time. This opportunity allowed me to basically stand on my in-law shoulders and just be able to do something uh, greater and, and more powerful in the community uh, with a well-known name and, and be able to grow the, the business. We want to grow, but we also talk about our, our employees growing with us. It's a very gratifying feeling um, knowing that we can provide the kind of training and resources and careers for them to do that. Yeah, the greatest satisfaction I've gotten from my career in helping people start and develop and grow businesses is to see franchisees exceed beyond their wildest dream to find and reach goals that they never thought were possible. There's a lot more to take under consideration whenever you're weighing the challenges of being your own boss and the boss to so many others. We encourage you to let us help you answer some of the questions and point you in the direction of some very talented business advisors and legal representatives, including our crowdfunding guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding attorney. Remember too, Financing is available for most crowdfunding and franchising projects. Let us show you how. Drop us a line here, info at connectsbn.com. We'll be right back after this word. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. Ready to start or grow your small business? Visit sba.gov to learn more about how we can help. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. Do you believe in high performance action wear? We want to take a moment to give a shout out to a little powerhouse of shared ideals and top quality in the lives of its proponents. We're talking about a company called High Leap. As we've mentioned here before, the principals behind High Leap love to tell a success story that continues to unfold through not one, not two, but through three successful crowdfunding campaigns. Figure the best way to celebrate the company's continuing success is to showcase them in the latest crowdfunding campaign video. Here we go, High Leap for your investment consideration. Great communities are built from a shared connection, a common passion, and an understanding that we are all stronger together. Get set, go. Yay! From project to production, every high lead product is built with the input of a passionate community. But our mission is more than building great product. Our energy is equally focused on being a source of inspiration and motivation for every individual that strives to live a fitness lifestyle. Join us and own part of the brand you help build. As they say, speaking from a notion of hard-won success, 
own a little piece of the company you helped build. You can buy one of those pieces with a minimum investment of $500. Not bad for a company that prides itself on the right togs for the jogs with the wind rising against your back. Speaking of wind, you should know by now the boss is fond of projects and product lines that encourage the growth of green energy. He'd like to think our next crowdfunding campaign would appeal to you because who doesn't love a windmill? It's actually the Harmony Turbine, and the company's top guy has spent nearly a decade designing his prototype wind turbines and patenting the majority of the internal processes. If there were awards given for people who couldn't stop inventing, I know somebody who'd make an excellent candidate. If you're going to consider making it part of your investment portfolio, I should just stop talking and just introduce the Harmony Wind Turbine. Hello. I'm Christopher Moore, founder and CEO of Harmony Turbines. I've been doing clean energy research for about 20 years, the last two of which have been dedicated to my vertical axis wind turbine invention that I call Harmony VAWT. I'll start by saying that our company is founded on the principle that clean energy should be truly good for all of the inhabitants of Mother Earth, not just humankind. With that in mind, We've spent almost three years working tirelessly on Harmony, doing patent work, design, prototyping and testing. We have more than 60 YouTube videos chronicling over a thousand hours of research and development, and we're just shy of our first 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Additionally, we have over 2 million unique views between our combined social media outlets. It's been an incredible journey for us so far, but it's about to get even more exciting. We've recently begun discussions with our local township about erecting the first permanent Harmony prototype. This will enable much easier testing of not only our generator design, but any generator that's already on the market. Harmony's utility patent was just fully granted on both our proprietary turbine and generator designs, but rest assured, we'll be adding further intellectual property to our claims as we continue the R&D process. To support these new efforts, we're starting an equity crowdfunding campaign to generate the much needed seed funding to take us to the next level. So why should you choose to invest in Harmony Turbines? For starters, our flagship product will be a low cost, beautiful wind turbine for the home that's simple to maintain right from ground level. There's no dangerous climbing required. Harmony looks like a piece of artwork much more than a power generating station. So instead of your neighbors hating that you have one, they'll be regretting not having their own. It makes little to no noise and doesn't cause harm to you or any other residents of our planet. They can be mounted on a secure concrete foundation and we'll be exploring roof mounted options as well as smaller boating, camping, and RV versions in the near future. The total height should be 16 feet or less, which greatly simplifies or eliminates permit issues for the homeowner. Thanks to the patented furling technology built right into Harmony, High winds will be no problem. Our turbine blades simply furl up to whatever degree necessary while continuing to produce maximum power right on through those winds that shut down or even destroy our competitors' products. Customers the world over will truly have a simple, easy solution that finally makes sense for renewable wind power generation for home and personal needs. Who wouldn't want to be part of a movement like that? Harmony Turbines represents a powerful, exciting option for a much larger solution, where we, billions of concerned, caring, and engaged individuals, begin to transform our homes and our lives into self-sufficient, green, and sustainable models. Most of us want to do the right thing for our environment. We just don't have any good ways to make a big difference. Until now. So, why not consider backing Harmony Turbines? It would be a great first step toward creating the paradigm shift necessary for a happier, healthier tomorrow. The time is now, and the change starts with you in your own home. Harmony Turbines. We now have the power to change the world. Can you imagine Harmony Turbine's efforts becoming the breakthrough in harnessing the wind power for residential neighborhoods in a thoughtful and efficient manner? If so, you might use this figure in your investment strategy. The minimum investment for Harmony Turbines is just $100. One more quick break and we're back with a sweet treat for you here on SBN, the Small Business Network.
A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. Ready to start or grow your small business? Visit sba.gov to learn more about how we can help. So, during the extra time you spent at home recently, did you come up with any recipes for favorite dishes or desserts? We bet you did, but no worries, no pressure, because now it's time for you to learn about Anthony's cookies and why they've become a Bay Area favorite over the past quarter century. We love Anthony's story and his determination to succeed at a time when so many small businesses are facing steep economic challenges. Let's jump right into the crowdfunding presentation video and see just what Anthony's Cookies has in store for your investment interests. We love Anthony's Cookies. Classic chocolate chip, cookies and cream. Cookies and cream is my favorite cookie. Walnut chocolate chip is my favorite. The cookies and cream cookie is the greatest cookie. Nothing is nearly as good as Anthony's Cookies and Cream cookie. Hi, I'm Anthony Lucas, founder and CEO of Anthony's Cookies. I've been making gourmet cookies for 22 years in San Francisco. In the last decade, our store has offered a wide variety of cookies, with our most popular being cookies and cream and chocolate chip. In addition to our cookies, we sell a wide variety of beverages, as well as coffee, milk, things that naturally complement our cookies. We also sell so that people can enjoy cookies and ice cream at home and get your pints and quarts. We have recently added chocolate covered shortbread and our ice cream sandwiches, which both are taken off. People love them. To further enhance the home experience of Anthony's Cookies, we would like to offer our dough and get the opportunity of baking the cookies right in their home oven. A little over a year ago, we opened up our second location in Berkeley, California which will serve as our production and distribution hub for future retail, e-commerce, and wholesale. Over the years, I have found that we have grown the way we have because of our quality, our consistency, and our great customer service. The manufacturing facility in Berkeley will allow Anthony to grow his retail, wholesale, and e-commerce business. Anthony set everything up in order to meet future demands the business may have organically without affecting the quality. Currently, the SF store is producing about 350,000 cookies a year. The Berkeley store can easily do that in less than a month. Chatting with our customers on a regular basis, I've learned that many people travel from far and wide to experience Anthony's cookies right here in San Francisco. And many of them have told me that they would love to experience Anthony's cookies in their hometown. Throughout the 22 years of making cookies, I've always been very creative, coming up with flavors such as cookies and cream, our chocolate covered shortbread, and many others. And that creativity is never gonna stop. In the near future, we plan to expand to many more cities and states, and would love to give you the opportunity to be a part of this journey. If I tried to make a treat like that for dessert in my house, it couldn't hold a candle to the delights you'd find at Anthony's. If you're considering an investment, you should know the minimum investment to buy into Anthony's Cookies is $500. There's so much more to learn about investing through crowdfunding, and the Small Business Network can help. Just let us know by dropping us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you with business advisors and legal representatives, including our crowdfunding guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding attorney. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including equity crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. Well, as they say, that's a wrap for the first episode of the new season here on SBM. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. Hope you saw something you'd like to consider for investment. If nothing else, we hope we gave you a reason to smile. Follow us at Connect SBN on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and everywhere you go to catch up on the socials. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you back here again soon. Until then, good health, good heart, and good investing. Thank you from all of us here at SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs.